Man, I'm lazy those days. I didn't even shave my beard. Hello, this is T1, and we got an interesting tier list here. And we gonna do tier list of some browsers. That's gonna be from my personal experience and also for entertainment for you. So don't take this tier list seriously, but however, you can change my mind on the comment section if you don't like what I'm gonna be ranking. So yeah, let's start off with Safari. Safari is made by Apple. It's good and reliable. It ha it's quick. Uh, it's quick comparing to the other browsers, but mostly it's made for Apple. Yeah, for iOS and the macOS. I'm not sure about Microsoft and stuff. I haven't used it. I just used it on phone to be honest. Yeah, it's fast and reliable. It has some some uh, privacy and uh, to be honest it lacks some features so i'm gonna put it on a and we're gonna use it for the reference now we come to google chrome google chrome is very known and popular and it's uh, uh the currently the most used browser and the most known it's fast yeah but however it has some uh, issues uh, with the uh, ram and stuff you know that i've made some videos about it and did some tests with it and seen that google chrome uses a lot of resources if you had a, uh, a low end uh, pc so yeah it's good and it has the features and updates and stuff i'm not sure about privacy so we're gonna put S tier because of its popularity, that's it. Now here we got the internet. There's actually two here on our list. There is Internet Explorer. This one probably the newer. Let's say this is the newer and the old one. Well to be honest, the old one feels good and and all. But the design is very simple. Yeah, it's basically the very simple uh, uh, yeah, people uh, those days don't uh, li like uh, simple designs, I guess, but nah, I don't actually agree with them much. Uh, it's about the performance. It's uh, it's good, generally, so I'm gonna put it in A tier, but actually, for the sake of the design and stuff, B tier. And no, Firefox. Firefox is, is also very known, and it's actually... Uh, competing with other browsers a lot and it's fast re reliable however it has some uh, issues with privacy over the history as far as I know and I guess that puts it in a lower tier than Google Chrome so we're gonna put now Vivaldi is also an open source browser that made from Chrome it could be faster than Chrome at some point, but yeah, it lacks feature and uh, and the design, I guess, because Chrome is definitely doing good these days. So I'm gonna also put it here for now. And yeah, this is Brave browser. It's really reliable and fast, and it has very a very good security security too and they also have many features even give you some tokens or i am not sure but i used it so far and it's it's probably the fastest and the most useful website i use however you can change my mind and i'm gonna put it on the s tier yeah it deserves s plus actually s plus tier it's actually better than those I just mentioned. Let's uh, see the others. There should be only one browser on the top of this list. For now, it's a brave. And we got here, and also created my, by Microsoft. It has great uh, design uh, compared to Internet Explorer, and it's uh, very modern. It's very modern, it has security features and always up to date. 
What can you say? It, it's actually faster than Chrome. But for for the sake of uh, uh, how much people are using it, I'm gonna give it the same tier as Google Chrome. I could have put uh, Firefox with it, but yeah, I guess it has some issues. Now this one is called Ice Dragon Komodo or whatever it, it is. I forgot the name. But honest, I never used it. I never used. I should put it here. But actually, uh, after I know that it's uh, open source from Firefox, I'm gonna put it here. It's just, uh, just a project that uh, it has potential. That can get me wrong, but it needs some more work. Anyways, we are on Opera now. Opera, Opera, Opera is great, and they are trying to compete against. Google Chrome and Firefox and all other browsers however I don't like it much because it has very um, dizzy, dizzy feeling when you use it so I guess I'm gonna put it on B tier actually, actually I could put it on A tier but yeah let's keep the balance here Tor browser you know this one is what it's used for those who knows you better tell me before I tell you and yeah here, here goes nothing it goes for browsing the dark web and dark net usually used by hackers. oh I shouldn't have said that but anyways this browser is for maximum security it's actually the most secure right now However, it may uh, give you performance issues like uh, low uh, net speed. So yeah, if you can, you don't have good uh, of those, then yeah, I'm gonna put it on S tier for now. Yeah, definitely. It could have gone S plus, but yeah, it has very special feature that not not suitable for everybody i'm not sure what's this green thing if you know about it just tell me in the comment section if you know about it but let's assume it's opera gx the gaming browser that i am using right now it's and damn it's very good and yeah what should i put it i guess it's gonna be on a tier as yeah i i could say it's probably better than opera because it has some features like gx control and stuff so yeah it deserves it yandex yandex is is a russian uh, browser and uh, it's a very good uh, made by open source i think it's google however um, many people doubt it because uh, it's made by uh, russians but yeah, it's it's totally fine. So I'm gonna put it on A tier. And this one is the newest uh, Internet Explorer. Let's say the latest one. Yeah, they add some feature and give gave it fresh look. So I'm gonna put it with its other guys. A tier. Now this one, I never, I never uh, know what's this. So. I'm gonna put it, I have never used it. And yeah, I want to kick someone from A tier because look at A tier, it's, uh, it's filled with browsers. I'm gonna say Vivaldi because it's not very trustworthy. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. That's the, my, my tier rank. My uh, rank list of the browsers. I hope you like it. I hope you agree with me with some browsers. If you don't like any of these, just tell me in the comment section and change my mind. Okay, that's it. I'd see ya in the next video. Goodbye.